Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to the Mod Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Troy and today we're going to be customising the Vapid Alutian. It has some interesting customization. Uh, so let's check it out in the custom shop and see what kind of performance this thing has. All right, so I think I want to go for like an off-road build with this thing. It does have some off-roady customization on it. So let's go and fully upgrade it and we'll see how this thing performs off-road. Uh, so we've got the stock from Bumper. We can go for some chrome bull bars or black bull bars. We then got the rally raid bull bars. Uh, we got those in black and we got the chrome bull bars and those in black as well very similar to what we saw on the uh, the Karen Viviante um, the same bumpers as those I'm gonna go for the Making black bull bar I want to make this kind of like a off-road police car kind of thing um, we've got the uh, stock rear bumper we can go for a chrome bumper bar we got the black reinforced bumper, we got that in chrome, we got a plastic sport bumper, and we got a chrome sport bumper. I'm not going to go for those because not really a fan of any of them. Engine, we'll fully upgrade that. Exhaust options, has a tiny little exhaust underneath. Looks hilarious when you rev it, it wobbles quite a lot. Uh, we can go for a custom exhaust, we can go for an oval exhaust. We got the side facing, we go for a titanium, and then we got double options for each of those. Very similar to what we saw on the Viviante. Um, I'm going to go for the double custom. Uh, actually, am I going to go for the double custom? No, I'm going to go for the side facing the kind on of this. I like to work on. Prefer those. Uh, grill options. We got the stock grill. We can go for a chrome grill if you want to make it a bit more jazzy. Uh, we can go for the black trim sport grill. We got the chrome sport grill. We got the black GT grill. The chrome GT grill. We got the black honeycomb and the chrome honeycomb. I'm actually going to leave it stock. That is the nicest looking, in my opinion. No rush at Hood all. options. We got the stock. We can go for the middle intake. We can go for the secondary middle intake. We can go for the carbon version of that as well. Then we got the primary upper vented, secondary and carbon. We've got the primary high performance, secondary and carbon. We got the speed hood. We got that in secondary. We got that in carbon as well. Uh, we got the performance hood. A lot of these are the same as the Viviante. I have to say, they've copied and pasted a lot of them. Uh, we've got the secondary version and the carbon version. Uh, then we got the race hood. Uh, it's basically the same as the performance, but with some extra little louvers on each side there. Uh, we've got that in secondary and in carbon as well. I think I'm going to go for this one, the upper vented. That looks quite good. Uh, we've got horn and light options, liveries. We've got uh, white stripes. It's like an offset white on the hood. We got the weird speed block on the side. We got a black version of that as well. We got vapid black stripes, which we can't see very well because it's black at the moment. Uh, but we've got a white version of that as well. We've got color stripes, so it's like Technology and yellow down the middle and the yellow on the side. We got the American flag. Oh my gosh, that is wow. Okay. <laughs> That is that is something. Uh, we've got graffiti. That actually looks quite cool if you're building it as like a lowrider vehicle, like a baller kind of thing. That's quite good. We've got um, Wiz it, Vapid 1. Uh, we got Vapid Action. we got Camo. And that's all of them. Um, whew, not really sure if I want to go for a livery again. Haven't gone for Actually, we went for a livery in the last video uh, on the Fathom FR35. We did put a livery on that, but I don't think this thing will look great in the livery. So we're going to leave it stock. 
Uh, play options, if you haven't seen this, Making you can now get green stressful. Sprunk livery number plates or Ecola ones in red, which are quite cool if you're building a green or a red car and you want your number plate to hide a bit better into the bodywork. Uh, racks, so this is on the top, we've got the stock rack, we've got chrome versions of the roof rails, we've got a black roof rack and we've got a chrome roof rack. Uh, since we're going for like an off-roady one, I guess we'll go for a black roof rack. Respray, we'll come back to that. Um, but that is all of the Thank primary. Well, and what does the secondary actually change? Okay, so it's a little like roof grips on there. And obviously any secondary colour options that you choose. Okay. Uh, roof lighted lights. Ooh, wasn't expecting that. So we've got some round ones. Or we can go for like an LED bar. Um, I guess we'll go for, I, mm, I like round spotlights more, but on this, because it's like a modern vehicle, I think we'll go for an LED yeah, bar, I think it'll look better. Skirt options, and we can test whether the light bar actually works when we go out. Um, we can go for chrome skirts, we've got plastic running boards, chrome running boards, got running steps, slatted ones of those. We've got primary slatted side steps and chrome ones. Um, I'm not actually going to go for those because I want to build this kind of like off-roady. And that lowers the vehicle by adding those. Suspension. Um, there's a bit of a drop if you want to go for like a street build with this. Um, you can make this thing a bit lower. I'm going to leave it at the stock ride height because I want to build it off-roady. Uh, we'll go ahead and put on full transmission and turbo tuning. Uh, wheels next. Um, since we are going off-road, let's put some like off-road style wheels on this thing. I'm not sure which ones we really want to go for. Um, they look tiny, <laughs> these wheels, for some reason. They look really weird. Um, hmm. I guess we'll go for these. They look quite good. I'm trying to build this thing as kind of like a, an off-road police car. That's the kind of vibe I'm going for. So I want some like police looking wheels. Uh, we'll go ahead and tint the windows a bit as well. And actually, I think we might end up leaving this thing black. But let's have a little look through the respray options. What does it look like in white if we went for white? Um, doesn't look as much like a police car in white. I'm actually thinking like a tanned colour might look quite good like something like this might look quite good for this vehicle it's like straw brown that looks quite good you I'm going to go with that actually stuff. it looks more like a desert overlanding vehicle now than a police car but it looks pretty good I, I quite like that so let's take it outside see how it performs we'll actually take it to some dirt and see how it does out there Alright, so I've brought the vehicle down here uh, near the army base uh, for this little like off-road test. Uh, but first, let's see if that light bar actually works. Yes, it does. Um, but something I did notice on the drive over here is the little like um, like vanity lights on the side. You can see you've got like the main lights. The one on the left doesn't seem to work. So the main headlight does, but the sort of like driving light, the side light, the little surround which you can see, it doesn't work on the left, but it does work on the right. And in case you're wondering, I've just had this vehicle delivered, it hasn't been crashed into, it's not broken, I think this is just a mistake by Rockstar. Uh, the rear tail lights though, both seem to be working, and if I go ahead and put the brake lights on and the reverse lights, all of that does work. So um, let's give this thing a little bit of an off-road test. So we've got a bit of a hill here. Let's see if we can climb this. This thing has a lot of torque and yeah, it gets up that with ease. So let's do this from like a bit of a standstill. Yeah, it doesn't have any issues going up any of this. Let's see what kind of downhill braking it has. So this is quite a steep slope. Let's see if it can stop. Yes, it can. So it's quite good off-road, I do have to say. Um, you can see there with the dismount, I mean, admittedly, that's quite a steep slope. But 
um, because the vehicle is so low, because it is an SUV, a sports utility vehicle, um, it isn't as high up, it doesn't have as much ground clearance, as much suspension travel as an actual off-road vehicle. It's a bit compromised, but it is pretty good off-road. Like you can see, it's climbing up these slopes pretty well, which is nice. Uh, let's see how it does in some deep water. So if we go over here, there is some water. You can see we've got animals in GT Online now, which is cool. Uh, so let's just drive across here. It has no issue with that. Let's drive across a little bit more. This is a lot deeper. And you can see it didn't drown there. So it is actually pretty good as an off-road vehicle if you're planning to build it like I am. Let me know what you guys think of this one down in the comment section. Do you like the Vapid Alutian? Are you going to be buying this thing? Do you like my customization of this vehicle? Or do you think I should have gone with a street build? Personally, I quite like the off-road look. I think it looks good on this vehicle. But let me know down in the comment section. And whilst you're down there, why not leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. And subscribe if you're new for more videos just like this one. That's going to do it for me. Thanks all so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.